write the equation general form of the line passing through the point 3 and 2 and perpendicular to the line y is equal to 3x minus 7. They're asking something very specific here. First, they're asking for a line that passes through the point 3 and 2 on a Cartesian plane, and it also has to be perpendicular to this line. Something that's very crucial in this question here is to understand the relationship between a line that's perpendicular to another. And we've been provided the equation for one of the lines, and if you look specifically, you'll notice that the slope of the other line, uh, that's relative to the one that we're trying to create, uh, has a slope of 3, and we denote slope with the letter m. So the slope of this line right here is 3. Now the relationship between perpendicular lines is that if this line has a slope of 3, then if we were to find a line that's perpendicular to it, it would have the reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of that. So what I mean is that the new slope, let's call the new slope m1, will be negative 1 over your original. Therefore, your new slope will be negative 1 over 3. So we successfully found the slope of our new line. Secondly, we need to find the general form. Now, general form has looks like this. This is how the slope y-intercept form looks like. It looks like this, mx plus b. The general form will have all the terms to one side. So what can we, what can we derive next? What we're going to do next is substitute our m value into this equation here, into the skeleton y is equal to, and then once we have that, then we'll bring it into general form. That said, negative 1 over 3x plus b is equal to y, and we also know that it passes through the point 3 and 2, so we're going to substitute those numbers. 2 is equal to negative x over 3, and just combine these. And also, the x is 3, so I'm going to replace this x right here with a 3. No need for parentheses because it's a single, it's a monomial, plus b. And we end up with 2 is equal to negative 1 plus b, and therefore 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and that is equal to your b value. Now we can substitute all the information into our formula, and if we do that, we end up with the following. y is equal to negative 1 over 3 x plus 3. That is in slope y-intercept form. They want it in general form. So what we're going to do next is bring everything over to one side. We end up with y minus x over 3 minus 3. And we don't like to have fractions. I mean, I personally don't like to have fractions, so what I would do in this stage is multiply the whole thing by 3. And what you do to one side, you do the other, but since this is a 0, we're just going to leave it at 0. We end up with 3y minus x minus 9. That is your equation in general form. And if you have any questions about this, or if you have any similar questions, feel free to ask them on our website, or uh, put a comment below, and I'll try to help you out there. Good luck.